Don't permit yourself to say daily, "What a miserable day today is." Instead, say, "What a beautiful day today is." Whether there is rain or sunshine, train your tongue to say, "What a glorious day." Your lips will train your mind to see the world in a different way. Your affirmation of the beautiful will make your heart feel the beauty of the world. There is beauty in every soul, glory in every spirit, softness and tenderness in every heart. But you must open your eyes to see it. The more you exercise yourself in the direction of love and sympathy, the stronger you will grow in that direction. Repeat the habits that make for joy, happiness, and uplift. Destroy the habit of hatred and bitterness. Develop the habit of love and understanding. It's a belief that everyone is called into existence to create something, to contribute something in the world. There are two groups of people. Who achieve success? One, there are people who have unusual gifts, such as genius. Two, there are people who, through hard work, are also achieving the same goal. The requirements to success are to have a definite goal in mind. And to persevere in its pursuit. If your smile does not flow from within, you can force it to appear on your lips. Repeat this process for a period of time. Your smile will become genuine. It will emanate from the depths of your cheerful heart. Have a moment of silence every day. Will deepen the stream of your life, and it will bring you fuller of joys. In the state of silence, you will learn to change your attitude towards your various tasks, and they will bring you joy and happiness. Devote. A small period of each day to silence and meditation, you will find health, peace of mind, and happiness in your life. There are power, wisdom, love, and sympathy within you, but you must dig a channel in your consciousness for them to express themselves. Every experience of your past, let retain in memory only its sweetness and its joy. A man has been given a will to do as he chooses. The will must be trained in order to grow into a perfect instrument to achieve perfect results. An undisciplined will, like an undisciplined mind, will waste its energy in petty, useless directions, without creating anything. The most essential goal of self-education should be to develop the ability to do what is most necessary, not what is most pleasing. Your will must be trained 
to learn to do one thing at a time. Center all your efforts on one thing until the thing is done well and thoroughly, and until all the creative powers have found full expression. The mind may think thoughts. The imagination may see visions, but the will, with concentrated effort, must take these thoughts, visions, and translate them into reality. If you have not learned this lesson of the well yourselves, you must at least press it upon your children. Men may be divided into three groups: those who will, those who won't, and those who can't. Those who will are the backbone of civilization. They are the souls of who create, who provide, and who overcomes obstacles. Those who won't. Are always in the opposite direction. They oppose everyone and everything. They are not the ones who build. They are the ones who destroy. Those who can't are the one who always fail. They don't have the ability and knowledge to do anything. <laughs>